up guys my name is Mayank Ranjandaya and this is Shikha Singh back with another campus tour this time we are at the campus of Boston University we did a campus tour of Northeastern University before this if you haven't checked it out yet then go find the link in the description check out that campus tour it's like Northeastern University Boston University also has a campus within the city so it's not a gated or a walled camp it's spread out across the city the focus of this campus tour is in common buildings and facilities for example library food court gym athletic center other important buildings which are common to all the students right now we are at Boston University Bridge left side of the Boston University Bridge or on the west side from here we have Lickerson Arena Malvern Field Nickerson Field and Athletics Club on the east side of the campus we have our library, Sherman Center, which is a student center, and also has the cafeteria, College of Engineering, School of Business, and Yorkie Center, where all the recruitment happens. Let's check out the west side of the Boston University right now, and then we will go on to the east side. The West Campus where we are right now, the Central Campus, the East Campus and the South Campus. The area of West Campus looks really cool. If you look behind me, there is a target where you can get all your groceries and then next to it is Amazon Pickup Center and then we have Chipotle and Starbucks. So you can always grab a coffee and a bite and there are a few more restaurants right on this street. This is Commonwealth Ave in Boston which is really happening place actually. And as we are moving ahead on the Commonwealth Avenue in the West Campus, I also see a CVS Pharmacy and another bakery. Today stuff is not at all a problem. This is Boston University John Hancock Student Village. Right behind me is the Agnes Arena and this whole area is basically the home of Boston University Athletics. On this side we have the gym and the fitness club. Hancock Student Village is also home to a lot of students as it also has a dorm. This is very interesting. Just today there are trials going on for Special Olympics for Massachusetts in Boston University Aquatics Stadium. Let's check it out. We are so lucky that we happen to be here at this time. The vibes are so energetic here and everybody is cheering up for the participants. This is springtime in Boston. The campus is so beautiful and there's so many flowers and greenery around here. Boston University has their own police department. They ride in these big SUVs and bikes around the campus to maintain a really safe environment. So security should not be your concern at all for anyone who is on campus. So we are still in the Boston University West Campus and just now we saw the Agnes Arena and behind Agnes Arena we have the Boston University dorms and this is one of the shuttles of Boston University which drop you from nearest tea stops and other important places to your dorms. Directly opposite to these dorms we have the Nickerson Field which is uh, somewhere right there. the central and east of BU. Now we are in front of the George Sherman building or the GSU which is in the central campus. It also has an amazing food court that we'll check out in a moment. This building also has some offices where you get your ID card if you are a new student to the university. This building also hosts the Boston University recruitment or the career fair. Let's check out the food court real quick. So right now we are inside the food court and so there are a lot of food vendors here starting with Dunkin Donuts, Starbucks and Food Panda etc. And there is also pretty cool convenience store here where you can easily get snacks and uh, Boston University merchandise.
Just for your reference, this food court is called Union Court at GSU. Just outside the Union Court, there is Mughal Memorial Library. Let's check out that place. Give an overview about the library. Of which course are you enrolled in? Yeah, I'm studying neuroscience. So can you tell us something about the library? Yeah, so it's like finals week right now, so everyone's studying a whole lot. Um, the Mugar Library is fantastic. I believe there's seven floors. I haven't been to all of them, um, but that includes like a basement. The basement's really nice because they have just really long tables. It's really great for like um, students who are working in groups, or, like they're doing like group projects. And there's like a bunch of walls that just are like whiteboard. You can like write problems. Um, as you go up from that, basically like floors one all the way up to six, it gets wider as you go up. So like floor three, four, five, it's pretty much silent. Uh, one thing I really like about Vugar is that they have like two types of like seating options. So they have really like long tables if you're working in like pairs, if you're working in like big groups, or if you like want to spread out more. Um, they also have like little cubbies where like you kind of like sit and there's like an outlet if you need to like charge something and it's like just like the desk and the chair. So if you really kind of just want like be focused and like kind of have like, there's like little like blockers kind of like so you can't see the people, that's really nice. It's also really like you can print anything you need. They got like scanning, like it's really a great place to study. What do you think about the Union Court? I think it's great. Um, I love how they have like a bunch of different types of foods. They have ice cream, Starbucks, which is always a staple. So yeah, I love I love coming to Union Court to eat. Thank you so much, Sarah. Of course. <laughs> So we just got out of the Union Building which also has the library and now we are heading towards School of Law. Union Building is in the central campus and now we are heading towards the east campus. So we are still in the central campus of Boston University but we are definitely heading towards the east campus. While we were heading to the east campus from Mughal Library we ran into this place which is called the Marsh Chapel. Marsh Chapel is the official place of worship of the school. Also there are a lot of meditation sessions happen here. Guys, do you mind telling us about uh, the circle? The, the seal? Oh well there's a myth. The BU seal, there's a myth around it that if you attend BU and you step on the seal, you won't graduate, so everyone avoids it at all costs. And then finally steps on it once they have graduated, which we have all done um, in like the past 20 minutes. So wow. it was just, it was a little bit of a fear that I'd accidentally step on it <laughs> without meaning to, but I mean, I made it, so clearly I'm all right. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. Yeah. Oh, there is a myth, as Sam said, that you really cannot step on the BU seal if you are still studying in the college because they think if you step on it, you are never ever going to graduate. So these guys have been waiting for this moment. They finally crossed the seal. Congratulations. This is the BU seal that we were talking about. So the place right behind the Marsh Chapel is called the BU Beach. I think they call it BU Beach because right across the main street there is a Charles River flowing. Just now we saw the BU beach and now we are heading towards the east campus. So we are actually in the east campus but on the rear side of the building. So if you see on this side, this building is actually the Boston University School of Social Work. In front of me where I am heading towards right now is the BU admission cell. And we will take the next street to basically join back into the Commonwealth Avenue. and we are in front of the College of Art and Sciences right now. This building is massive and it's a part of the East Campus of the Boston University.
like uh, the west campus east campus also has a lot of restaurants across the street uh, starting with subway which is right in front of the college of science uh, where you can obviously easily grab a sandwich this place is super nice and really happening and obviously very very useful for students <music> We just got into this subway which is right in front or right across the street from College of Arts and Science. And actually this place is not just subway, this place also has a grocery store, pretty huge grocery store actually where you can grab I think almost every day to day stuff. So we just got out of subway and uh, behind me is the Commonwealth Avenue. Right now we are on the Cummington Mall uh, or the street which is called Cummington Street which is right ahead and that's where we have the College of Engineering. Let's check out that place really quick. Right on the Cummington Avenue as we were talking about this is College of Engineering Department of Mechanical Engineering right here and I believe there would be other departments as well within the same building. This building or this department is really not at all far away. It's literally just 100 meters from the T stop. So if you get down on T of Boston University East Campus, you are directly in your department. This is as close as it can get to public transport. Campus is beautiful. If you see, they have maintained it very well. Right now it's a spring. A lot of trees have flowers and then they have added a lot more. So I think this is beautiful. All right, so we just saw College of Engineering, uh, the Department of Mechanical engineering which was straight on this street I just moved like literally 50 or 60 meters ahead and if you cross this street here we have a lot more important departments in this building which is again very very close to the T stop very much reachable let's check out what all this building has science department of computer science department of mathematics and statistics IST network a lot more departments but anyway this is the place if you are falling into any of these departments So now we are going straight from here and we'll connect back to the Commonwealth Avenue where we'll see the School of Business. Everything white which you see lying here, it's actually flower leaves, springtime. And we are back at the Commonwealth Avenue. This is 640 Commonwealth Avenue, also known as the School of Communication, which is right behind me and this place is also beautiful if you look there is a very nice and pretty uh, fountain in front of this college you can get rental bikes on campus and roam around the city anytime University campus has multiple bike docking stations. You can take these bikes and roam around the city. A really good way to see the campus and the city. <laughs> we have reached the School of Business and this is almost the end of the East Campus of Boston University. Let's check out the final parts of East Campus. Alright guys, so we are almost at the end of the East Campus and East Campus basically joins into the Fenway area as well. So if you go on right side from here, that side, so that's where the Fenway Park is, is the home of the Boston Red Sox. And if you go straight from the East Campus towards Boston Street, passing through the Prudential Center. So Prudential Center is one of the main buildings in Boston. Further on this side or which is basically immediately on this side, there is another student services center which is called Yockey. <laughs> Alright guys, so we have reached the end of our campus tour. Boston University and Boston are definitely a great choice if you are considering to do any kind of courses from here. Boston being a really big city, full of intellectuals, it's a really really good place to work and study. Boston University has a capacity of 35,000 students at any time. There are more than 4,000 faculties here, which makes it really massive. We have also made campus tour of other universities. If you want to check them out, please find the link in description below. Thank you for watching guys. We hope you like this video. Please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. This is Shikha Singh. This is Mayank Ranjan Dayal. Over and I'm out.